tashin Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 16 da mita 25 da kuma tashoshin FM a wasu kasashen Afirka ko a shafin mu na bbchausa.com mai saurari assalamu alaikum rabi a cikin barin kace ke fatan kun wani lafiya a cikin shirin mu na karfe 8 da rabi a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato bakwai da rabi kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana a cikin shirin za ku ji cewa ma'aikatan lafiyar Lebanon ta ce adadin mutanen da hari ta sama da Isra'ila ta kai a rewacin Lebanon ya karu zuwa 21 yayin da ake ci gaba da gabza kazamin fada tsakanin Isra'ila da Hezbollah a Lebanon ma'aikatan lafiyar wato ma'aikatan lafiyar Lebanon din ta ce adadin mutanen da hari ta sama da Isra'ila ta kai a rewacin Gaza ya karu zuwa 21 rahotaddi daga jihar Zamfaran Najeriya na cewa an kashe wani kazurgumin dan bindiga da ya addabi wasu yankunan jihar wasu da ba a san ko su waye ba sun kashe Tatalla Ibrahim dan gurgun dadi wanda dabashi take kawayan Shangel Tatalla ne da ya kauro suna gurin tara hanyar daga tarkoshi zuwa garin mada Kungiyar Agaji ta Red Cross a Najeriya ta ce ma'aikatan ta na ci gaba da aikin ceto a jihar Kogi bayan da an baliyar ruwa daga kogunan Niger da Benue suka shafi gidaje sama da dubu 40. Wanda muka gani a Tafir ruwan yana zuwa sassai. To a yanzu muna da over 40,000 houses affected. Dubu 40 kama ku bayani kan yadda tawagar Super Eagles ta Najeriya ta koma gida biyo bayan tirka tirka da aka samu bayan an wasan sun isa Libya domin fafatawa da abokan karawar su na kasar Libya amma duk sai ba a isha sharbar fata karanto mana labaran duniya babban sakatar majalisar dinkin duniya Antonio Guterres yayi Allah wadai da har haran Isra'ila da suke sanadin illata dubban fararan hula a rewacin Gaza majalisar dinkin duniya ta ce dubban mutane na cikin tsaran rashin abinci da sauran kayan bukatun yau da kullum wata kungiyar kar yakin dan adam ta zargi Isra'ila da warga za Gaza da kuma cutar da Palestina wanda ba su ji ba su gani ba sanarwar kungiyar ta biyu bayan har da Isra'ila ta kai a wajen rafan abinci a sansanin yan kudin ki Jana Jabaliya da ke arwacin Gaza lamarin da ya sanadin mutuwar mutun goma maktar lafiyar Lebanon ta ci adadin mutanen da hari ta sama da Isra'ila ta kai a rewacin Lebanon ya karu zuwa 21 Harin ya fada kan aito wato wani kauye da kristoci suka fi yawa a wasu tsibirai a kusar da Tripoli. Mazauna wajen sun ci babu wani karkadi sai kawai suka ji hari akan su. Sun ci akwai sabon mutanen da ke zuwa kauyen su daga kudancin Lebanon. Hezbollah ta ce tana ci gaba da kwabzawa da sojojin Isra'ila a kudanci bayan ta harba makamin atilari akan sojojin Isra'ila dake kokarin tsallaka iyaka. Ta cikin magana da BBC mai magana da yawan mataimakin wato mataimakin shugaban kungiyar Amnesty International a yankin gabas da zakiya da kuma arewacin Afirka a Ahmad Sub ta ce The images coming out of South Lebanon really speak for themselves. Ta ce wutan da suke fitowa daga kudancin Lebanon ko shakka babu suna bayyana kansu. An kona wurare da dama kama daga majami'u da makarantu da asibitoci da kuma gidaje. India ta janye jakadan ta da masauran jami'an diplomasiyar ta daga Canada bayan da aka ambato su a cikin binciken da ake akan kisan da aka yi wa wani dan a waran Sikh a Bara. Maikatar hukumar waje India ta kuma sallamo su jami'an diplomasiyar Canada shida tare da basu umarnin su bar kasar nan da zuwa rana Asabar mai zuwa. Yan sannan Canada sun ci sun gano bayani da dama akan yadda aka kashe Hardeep Singh Nija wanda suka ci akwai hannun India ciki abin da gwamnatin India ta yi watse da shi. Canada's National Police Force has accused Indian diplomats based on the BBC that she answered in Canada since the Gijam and diplomats here in India, the Kizona, Canada, the Hanu Akisa, the Tad, the Kitty, the Desora Muka, Ayuka Akasar. To Labarandun and Nazwa Mukuni, the Ganan Sasha Hausana, BBC. What are when you carry hacking the item? I ain't can daffur Nagasar Sudan. Touch it a carugo in your RSF da Gawaiyan Sue, send which you want a salmon salon caper, make you can get beer Sagawa. Kungiyar mai suna da Human Rights and Advocacy Network for Democracy ta ce har haran da ake kai wa kauyukan da ke arewacin Darfur sun faru ne a tsakanin biyar zuwa bakwai ga watan Oktoba da muke ciki ta ce an kashe mutun 40 sannan an kone kauyuka 16 da Gurmus da kuma sannan kuma yara da dama sun bace ta karin kungiyar RSF na fada da sojojin Sudan don kwace ikon kasar tun a watan April Bara Kwatu huko tamaa ya lepuka atakasada kasa ICC tache zata sabu tabinchikanda teki akalepinyaki daika taa 
mukalle puka ajamu ri demokrasi ya Kongo inda kwamu kunywa masada kita makame kipa na pia dushikaru ashirunda skauji papa mshika tukara akuta Karim Khan ya chama la paraka ni ita chetu ba irale puka nda aki aika tawa ariyo chini kifu tunshikaru dibu biuda ashirunda biu ashikaru tega bata kumla tena kasa tabu kachu ICC da tukuda na dapin chiki aka ngapi na takeira sata da aki tapka wa aka alafu kata tena kasa da suri juu wanda dokumenta wa M23 ki aika tawa tundi Rwanda tamu santa sata la alba kachin kasa na doku maa guya wa entawai M23 da mbaya. Tuwa kasha la baran dunia rikina da gana sa shang hausa na BBC. Aga ishida a isha shara bapa da la baran dunia. Tuwa baya la baran dunia riyanzu kuma sira huta ni. Redina soja Israel ta musanta batun da ke cewa sun kai hari kan dakarun wani zanda zaman lafiya na majalisar rinkin duniya a Lebanon. Israel ta kuma kara kan takon umarni da ta ba dakarun na majalisar rinkin duniya na su janye daga yankin da ake gwabzawar. A tattaunawar sa da BBC mai magana da yau redina tsaron Peter Lena ya ce sun ba su umarnin su fice amma sun yanke shawara ci gaba da zama kuma akwai hatsari zama a yankunan da ake yaki. Gara hotan Bilkis Babangida Mi magana da yau rundunar dakarun tsaron Israel IDF Lieutenant Colonel Peter Lana ya bayyana a wata hira da BBC cewa a jiya da BBC ta ziyarci kauyuka a kudancin Lebanon inda dake da nisan mitoci kadan daga sansanonin majalisar dinkin duniya za a iya ganin wuraren shiga ta hanyoyin karkashin kasa da makaman harba rokoki da kuma wurin ajiyar makamai wannan a cewar sa yankin fagen fafatawa ne da kungiyar Hezbollah ta kafa dake kuma kusa da sansanin dakarun wani zanda zaman lafiya na majalisar dinkin duniya UNIFIL Lokacin da aka tambaye shi game da keta haddin sansanonin majalisar dinkin duniya wanda ya haifar da yin Allah wadai daga kasashen duniya ya ce da bibi sun cewa of course that that is um, there are, have been a couple of incidents and indeed the united yace kwarai ko shakka babu akwai faruwar irin wadannan abubuwa kadan kuma tabbas sansanonin majalisar dinkin duniya ba su ne ainihin akai niyyar kai wa hari ba akwai fafatawar dake faruwa inda akwai mummunan artabu a wasu wurare kuma ta hakan za a iya tafka kuskuri a fagen daga and there can be mistakes on the battlefield lokacin da aka kara tambayar sa akan cewa rundunar har yanzu tana da nauyin da ya rata a wuyanta na kare fararen hula yadda ya kamata ya kara da cewa absolutely absolutely and the fact that Hamas are intentionally and other organizations other terrorist organizations yace kwarai da gaske kwarai da gaske kuma sanin cewa kungiyar Hamas da sauran kungiyoyin yan ta'adda na kafa wuraren su da gangan a daidai wuraren da aka shata ko a wurin ajiyar motoci na asibiti ya nuna dalilan su na yin hakan a fili yanzu za mu yi amfani da duk wasu dabaran aikin sojin da muke da su da suka hada da bayanan sirri da sa ido da binciken gwagwaf dan magancewa da kuma sanin abin da ake bukata mu yi a cikin wadannan dokokin yakin ko shakka babu wannan shine abin da zamu ci gaba da yi dole mu sauya ainihin gaskiyar abin da ke faruwa we have to change the reality too Peter Larna ya kuma bayyana cewa kungiyar Hezbollah ta tabbatar da cewa runduna ce mai hadarin gaske a yayin harin da ta kai jiya akan sansanin dakarun Indeed Hezbollah has been planning for 20 years this war um Yace ko shakka babu Hezbollah ta shafe shekaru 20 tana daura damarar wannan yaki sun kuma tsara kai dubban harhare a yau amma kuma ana samun galaba akan su kuma ko shakka babu yayi matukar mummunan tasiri akan shugabancin su da yanayin aikin sojin su da kuma kasancewar su akan iyakoki jiya sun nuna cewa su dakaru ne masu matukar hadari da kasar Iran ke karfafa guyuwa wannan shine babban kalubalen da muke fuskanta Lieutenant Colonel Peter Lana ya kuma bayyana cewa ko shakka babu dakarun wani zanda zaman lafiya na majalisar dinkin duniya UNIFIL ba abokan gabar su bane don haka suna iya bakin kokarin su wajen ganin rage mummunan tasirin ayyukan sojin su a wurin amma kuma ya bada shawara cewa akwai bukatar su dan janye daga wurin saboda kariyar su Rahotan da Bilkisu baban gida ta hada mana kenan to yanzu kuma bari mu nafi Najeriya inda rahotanni daga jihar Zamfar ke cewa an kashe wani babban dan bindiga Kacalla Ibrahim dan gurgun daji a kwanan Nasir dake karamar hukumar Gusau ta jihar Zamfar rahotanni sun ce dan gurgun daji yayi suna wajen ayyukan ta'addanci da suka hada da tara hanyar kwatarkwashi da wasu sassan jihar sai dai rahotannin na cewa ba a san wadanda suka kashe shi ba kan haka na tattauna da manar furagir ke dan jarida mai binciken kokob a jihar ta Zamfara ga kuma karin bayanin da yi mani wasu da ba a san ko su waye wasu kashe da Tallah Ibrahim dan gurgun daji 
wanda dabashi take kauyen shangen a gabacin garin ma da karamar hukumar so sannan bayan kisan na shiga tallane da ya kauru suna gurin tara hanyar daga fitar kushi zuwa garin mada ko kuma daga mada zuwa wani kaharuwan kauri shine yake operation akan wannan hanya sannan galibi yaran shi suka shigo cikin garin so rangwan sabobi don su da kuwa da mutane galibin su ne suke wannan ko kuma idan aka dauko mutane da wasu yankuna shi ya kan siya a siyan mai sannan ya daura nashi kudin fansa akai to kamar ta yaya aka kashe shi an samu wani bayani cikakken yadda aka yi aka kashe shi to babu wani cikakken bayani na yadda aka kashe shi an dai ga gawar shi an tafi da mashin din shi da kuma an makaman shi tun da kin ga da koyi gina tsakanin barayin daji su kan su din ba tabbas shin barayin daji ne suka kashe shi wanda suke gaba da junan su ko ko jami'an tsaro ne ko ko mutanen gari ne har yanzu babu wannan tabbaci to wane ne shi wannan dan bindiga wani yanki ne ta ga maimai ya fi addaba to yanki ne ya fi addaba yanki ka karama hukumar gusau ne da wani yanki na karama hukumar safe sai kuma karama hukumar ta musa da ke jahar kasuna to yaya zaka bayyana girman matsalar tsaro a yanki da ya addaba da to ga duk wanda ya sar matsalar tsaro da take addabar musamman jahar zamfara da kuma wanki wani yanki na jahar katsina wannan ba karamin nasara ba ce ba kisan irin wadannan manyan kacallonin wadanda su ne jagorori yana da yara sama da ba su tun a kasashe sannan duk barawon da yake iya tara hanya muna kira da shi ne da tausayi kwata kwata babu tausayi a cikin al'amarin shi saboda hanya ce ta kasuwanci da suke tarewa sannan kuma su matsa malukin magurin kai hara hari musamman a kauyuka ko garuruwan da ke wannan yankin kisan shi zai zama nasara ce ba karama ba kana ganin za a samu saukin kana ganin za a samu saukin rashin tsaro a yankin sosai kuwa sosai kuwa tunda shi jagora ne sannan makaman nan da yake sa yaran nan su yi aikin nan suna anni shi idan an kashe irin wadannan in ka kashe shugaba ya kuka kashe yaro guda 10 ko sama da haka saboda shi ya san inda yake nemo makamai shi ne yake da hanyar da ake kawo masa makamai ko kuma miyarun kwayoyi to kin ga an toshi wannan farna kenan manyan rufragir ke kenan dan jarida mai binciken kokob a jahar zamfara to daga batun kashe kasan gurmin dan bindiga a Najeriya sai kuma na Ambaliya inda gwamnatin jihar Kogi ta ce mutane sama da miliyan 1 ne suka rasa mahallan su sakamakon Ambaliya ruwa daga kogunan Neja da Benue jihar dai wacce ita ce mahadar kogunan biyu a kowace shekara tana cikin barazanar samun Ambaliya sai dai a wannan shekarar mahukunta sun ce abin yafi muni ga rahotan Aisha Aliyu Jafar Ma'aikatan agaji na Red Cross sun shaidawa kamfanin dillancin labare na AFP cewa dubban mutane ne suka rasa matsagunan su a lokacin da kogin Naija da Benue ke kara tumbatsa suna ambaliya a yankunan da ke tsakiyar kasar Red Cross ta kuma ce ma'aikatan ce to a jihar na ta kai agaji don taimakawa wadanda abin ya shafa barin gidajen su zuwa kauyukan da ke kusa da su ko kuma sansanonin da aka kafa sun kuma bayyana cewa lamarin na kara tsananta saboda kogin nan Naija na kara cikowa jami'in Red Cross a kogi Idris Abdullahi Abubakar yayi karin bayani akan girman lamarin yanzu ne yanda nake magana da kai yanzu yanzu muka dawo daga field kuma daga abin da muka yi bincike a kai ko abin da muka gani a field ruwan yana zuwa sosai to a yanzu muna da over 40,000 houses affected in the state. Dubu Arbai, yanzu ne abin da mun muke yi yanzu. Gaba daya a sace an rescue muke yi yanzu. Sanin da ruwa ya riga ya shiga, dan kuma to also mun tamake su su dan zama kamar ruwa ya komo. Commissioner yan al'abare na jihar Kogi wanda kuma shine yake jagoranta rukungamin wayar da kan al'umma kan Ambaliya a jihar Kingsley Femi Fanho ya ce duk da dai ba a samu asarar rai ba lamarin ya fara fun karfin su. This year's own is very devastating as we speak. 
Ta wana shi kara tayi sanani sosai. An samu asarar kai yake da gwaniki da amfanin gona na biliyoyin naira. A yanzu haka al'ummomi da dama take kogi kwatan karfi sun rasa muhallin su kusan kauyuka 80 ne a ƙarƙashin ruwa sai kuma ta yankin a jakuta da grego. Al'ummomi da dama su ma sun rasa muhallin su har ma da babban birnin jihar Lokoja a gabashin kogi kuwa a ƙaramar hukumar ibaci kashi 75 cikin dare da yankin na ƙarƙashin ruwa a dan haka za mu iya cewa kusan mutane miliyan biyu wannan ambaliya ta raba da muhallin su muna da sansanoni da aka kafa da ba za su ma iya daukan mutane miliyan 1 ba gaskiya al'amari ne mai munin gaske to yanzu haka menene gwamnatin jihar Kogi ke yi the government of Kogi state started public enlightenment early to gwamnatin jihar Kogi ta fara wayar da kan al'umma tun da wuri saboda a wayar da kansu su bar gidajen su zuwa yankunan da ke kan tudu kuma an kafa sansanoni 65 a yankunan da ke gaban ruwa da kuma wadanda aka samu ambaliyar sai dai ba mu da isassun kudade saboda kula da bukatun wadannan mutane adadin mutanen yayi wa jihar yawa hakan ne ma yasa muke kiraye kiraye zuwa ga gwamnatin tarayya da kasa in dunya da kungiyoyin agaji domin su kawo wa jihar mu agaji abin ya kore mu babu abin da za mu iya yi a yanzu lamarin ya yi muni kuma ba ma so ya zarta haka muni and we don't want it to go beyond this ana samun karuwar ambaliya a Najeriya inda a kota shekara yankunan da ke gabar kogi da kuma al'ummomin da ke hanyar ruwa ke fuskantar barazanar ambaliyar sai dai a lokuta da dama kiraye kiraye da gwamnatoci da hukumomi ke yi na taimakawa wurin rage asarar da ambaliyan ke janyewa na raika Aisha Ali Jafar BBC Hausa a Abuja Nigeria to yanzu karfe 9 ne saura minti 14 a gogon Nigeria da Niger ta kwa saura 14 a gogon GMT da Ghana rabe a cikin rin kace ke gabatar muku da wannan shiri daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC gaba a cikin shirin za mu je jamhuriyar Niger za kuma mu je Ghana amma yanzu kai tsaye za mu je fagen wasanni inda nake tare da abokin aiki na Bahar Muhammad Fage Bahari shin babban labari shine cewa ta wagan Najeriya ta Super Eagles ta kuma Najeriyar ta sauka kuma birnin Kano menene karin bayani kwarai da gaskiya rabi a bayan jira da suka yi wajen awanni 14 zuwa 15 a karshe dai ta ko wannan ta waga ta koma Najeriya kuma uh, ta isa birnin Kano da Maraice kamar yanda kika fara bayani kuma cikin bacin rai da Alheni rautani sun ce jama'a da dama da wato jami'an hukumar kwallon kafa na Najeriya da sauran magoya baya da masu sha'awar wasanni sun ji filin jirgin sama na jihar Kano sun tare su suna ciki murna da farin ciki suna kwanta musu da hankali duk da dai cewa kowanne shi ma ka taba a cikin su zaka tare da cewa ransa bayan da yake so ba wato ɗan wasan kenan har da su magoya baya rabiya na amto an ce hukumar kwallon kafa ta Afirka ta yi tsofaci kan wannan dambar wami tace ne haka azinnan ta fitar da sanarwa take cewa wannan abin da ya faru ta fara bincike akai ba za ta zuba ido ba ta bari saboda idan ta bari abin zai ci gaba da tafiya ta yi magana ko kuma tana kan magana da kamar hukumar kwallon kafa ta ita libiya kuma tana kan magana da hukumar kwallon kafa ta ita wato najeriya dan jin yadda al'amarin ya faru ya aka ya samu asali da kuma ina ake ciki domin jin haka da sanin kuma dokokin su akwai mamba a kwamitin masu ruwa da tsaki na hukumar kwallon kafa ta fifa kuma mamba a kwamitin wato ita cap na shirya wasannin zakarin afrika wato shehu dukku na tuntube shi domin jin yaya al'amura suke tafiya idan aka samu irin wannan matsala a karkashin hukumar kaf a kaf already sun aika wannan dambar wazu a committee na ladabtarwa na kaf wanda wannan committee independent ne wanda sune suke da hurumi su duba su ga me ya faru wa yake da laifi wa yake kare doga sai a bada cikakken hukunci da ya kamata a yi ya sani na yanda kaf ke aiki za a zauna ne a duba a duba doka dan kowane kowane gasa da ake ciki akwai dokan shi waye ya kare doka na farko su yan libiya suke da nauyi kamar da doka ya kamata in har 
wani kasa ko club zai zo kasan kai buga kai ne zaka tabbatar kai ba da duk wani hada hada da kamata a yi daga airport zuwa hotel da tsaro da sauran su tabbatar an ganshi an shi akan lokaci akan tsari ba tare da wani batun lokaci ba saboda timbin su samu su je su buga wasa su tafi lafiya da kyau kai ne ke da wannan hurumi dai hurumin kuma shine ba wani kasa ko abin da ke da hurumi su ce ba za su buga wasa ba ba tare da kafin sun ba su sun ba su izini ba to rabi'a kin ji shehudu ko da abin da ya fada da yadda hukumomin suke kuma hukunci to mai hukumomin najeriya suke cewa to mun san harkokin wajen najeriya yusuf mai tamatuga ya ce ya tattauna da mataimakin shugaban najeriyan kashim satima domin jin bahasiya akai aka yasar da tawagar sufa igis a wannan filin jirgin sama na wa'anna lokaci sun ce so suke su ji kakken bayani kuma sun yi kiran kamar wakilin wato ita kasar Libya a Najeriya domin su ji cikakken bayani mai hafar da wannan lamari yayin da a gefe guda kuma ta wagar Ghana da za ta fafata da Sudan a Libya wanda aka sa a can za su yi wasan ta isa filin jirgin wato ita Libya kalau kuma aka ji hukumomin kwallon kafa na Libya suka ebo su suka kai su masauki da komai da komai eh to amma abin da bai ba da mamaki ba shine dama kar ki manta suna korafin cewa kamar an musu ba daidai bane to zai iya yiwa kamar mataki ne na ramuwa suka dauka rabi'a to a ganshe ka Bahar Muhammad Fage yarjejeniya da aka cin mawa tsakanin kasashen da ke yankin kogin Nilu ta fara aiki didda adawa mai karfi da ta fuskanta daga kasashen Masar da kuma Sudan sama da shekara 10 an tattauna wannan yarjejeniya wato ana tattauna wannan yarjejeniya da ta kunshiyar da kowane bangare zai ci gajiyar kogin ta fuskar kasuwanci da sauran albarkatu a yanzu da yarjejeniya za ta tabbatar da daidaito a tsakanin kasashen da ke yankin kogin an sha samun rashin jituwa akan wannan kogi tsakanin kasashen yankin musamman lokacin da masar ta gina madatsa samun da wutar lantarki ga fassara rahoton wilros an samar da yarjejeniyar ne domin tabbatar da duka kasashe goman da ke iyaka da kogin Nilun sun yi amfani da wani tsarin doka wajen gudanar da al'amuran da suka shafi ruwan Masar dai ta jima tana dagewa kan aiki da yarjejeniyar da aka amince tsakanin 1929 da kuma ta 1959 wanda ta bawo Masar din da kuma Sudan damar samun wani adadi na ruwan a duk shekara haka kuma Masar din na da ikon kin yarda da duk wani shirin aiki a kogin na Nilu kasar Habasha dai ta gina babbar madatsar ruwa domin samarwa kanta wutar lantarki matakin da ya fusata Masar wannan rikicin dai dai ne daga cikin rikice rikicen da yankin ke fama da shi wanda ya kunshi Somalia da Eritrea da Masar a bangare daya dake adawa da Habasha daya bangaren rahotan da Aisha Idris ta fassara kenan na Wilros a jamhuriyar Niger kuwa jagora yan tawaye Risa Agbola yayi watsi da matakin da gwamnatin mulkin sojin kasar ta dauka na haramta mashi da wasu yan kasar takwas ayyana kan su a matsayin yan kasar gwamnatin da zargin su ne da cin amanar kasa tare da hada kai da wata kasa mai karbin fada a ji ga rahotar Raliya Zubairu a wani sakon bidiyo na tsawon mintuna uku da aka wallafa a shafukan sada zamunta jagoran yan tawayen Absinawa Risa Akbola ya jaddada cewa zai ci gaba da fafutkar dawo da kasar kan ta farkin mulkin demokradiya ya kuma mai da martani kan matakin da gwamnatin mulkin sojin kasar ta dauka na haramtawa shi da wasu yan kasar takwas ayyana kansa a matsayin yan kasa a cewar sa shi cikakken dan kasar Niger ne kuma zai ci gaba da kasancewa dan kasa wa kuma ba zai juya wa kasar sa baya ba idan haka ya bayyana matakin a matsayin abin da bai dace ba Risa Agbola wanda ya rike mukamin minister da kuma mai ba shugaban kasa shawara a lokacin mulkin gwamnatin Farar Hula ta Muhammad Bazum ya ce a baya yayi gwagwar maya da gwamnatocin da suka gabata a shekarar 1991 da kuma 2007 amma bai taba neman ballewa daga jamhuriyar Niger ba saboda shi mai kishin kasar sa ne amma kan da ya gabata ne gwamnatin sojin jamhuriyar Niger ta haramtawa Risa Agbola da wasu yan kasar takwas ayyana kansa a matsayin yan kasa ta kuma ce tana neman su ruwa a jallo kan zargin suna da hannu wajen cin amanar kasa da kuma hada kai da kasar Faransa 
Gwamta sojin Niger din ta ce ta dauki wannan matakin ne bayan wani bincike da aka kammala a baya bayan nan. Da ya bayyana jerin sunayen wasu da ake zargin suna da hannu a ta'addanci ko wajen kai harhare a cikin kasar. Bayan da sojoji suka yi wa gwamnatin shugaba Muhammad Bazum juyin mulki watanni 15 da suka gabata. Risa Akbala wanda shine jagoran kungiyar yan tawaye ta FAL ya kaddamar da wata kungiyar nuna turjiya ta CRR wanda ke fafutar ganin an dawo da shugaba Bazum kan mulki wanda kawo yanzu yana tsare a hannun sojojin kasar Rahotan da Raliya Zubairu ta hada mana kenan Rajina Insan well. dan gana ta ce ta gano wadanda ake zargi da hannu a wani harbe harben bindigar da aka unguwar Mamobi a lokacin gangamin yakin neman zabe da manyan jami'un siyasa suka shirya rikici ya barke ne tsakanin magoya bayan jami'a mai mulki ta NPP da babban jami'ar adawa ta NDC a ƙarshen mako a birnin Accra inda mutane tara suka ji raunuka ga rahotan Fahad Adam daga birnin Accra a cikin wata wasiƙa da rundunar yan sandan Ghana reshen birnin Accra ta fitar ta ce tuni kwanciyar hankali da zaman lafiya suka dawo unguwar ta Mahamubi da ke birnin Accra bayan wata tashin tashinar da ta tashi inda har ta kai ta kawo wasu bata gari suka yi harba harba da bindiga kuma sun harbi mutane biyu tare da jikkata wasu bugu da kari sanarwar ta ci gaba da cewa yan sandan sun gano wayanda ake zargi da hannu a laifin harba harban bindiga kuma yanzu haka ana tsaka da neman suruwa a jallo tare da tabbatar da hukun ta duk wanda aka samu da laifi sanarwar ta kuma ci gaba da cewa tuni an sallami mutane bakon da suka ji ciwo daga asibiti bayan duba lafiyar su amma har yanzu dai akwai sauran mutane biyu da ake jin yar su ba ka safai aka cika samun irin wannan rikicin ba duba da yadda a kowane ƙarshen mako magoya bayan jam'iyyun siyasa musamman na MPP da NDC suke yawan shirya irin wannan tattaki na gangamin yakin neman zabe inda kuma ake cakuda da juna duk da yake lokuta zuwa lokuta ana samun cece kuce sai dai abin ba yayin tsamari kamar haka yayin da ake shirin gudanar da zaben gama gari a kasa da wata biyu a kasar ta Ghana hukumar yan sanda ta kasar ta aika shirin cewa ba za ta zauna wasu bata gari su kawo tarnaki ga zaman lafiya da ake ciki ba yayin da kuma masu fada a jiyi da salakai suke kiran matasa da siringar hakuri suna kai zuciya nesa Muhammad Fadi Adam sashin Hausa na BBC daga Accra Ghana to a karan farko an samu billar cutar yan dabbiri a kasar Zimbabwe hukumar lafiya ta duniya da WHO ta ayyana dokar ta baci kan cutar da ke ƙara ba zuwa sassan duniya an samu mutane sama da 200 da suka kamu da cutar a ƙasashe sama da 123 a fadin duniya lamarin da ya sanadiyar mutuwar mutane sama da 230 a wannan shekarar ga fasarar rahoton Shingai and Yoka Mayakatar lafiya ta kasar ta Zimbabwe ta samu mutane biyu da suka kamu da cutar ta yan dabbiri na farkon wani yaro ne mai kimanin shekaru 11 a harara babban birnin kasar a yanda na biyun wani mutashi mai shekaru 24 ne a kudancin kasar ta Zimbabwe dukkan nan su kuma a cewar ma'aikatar a baya bayan nan ne suka yi bulaguro zuwa wajen kasar amma kuma hukumomin sun ce dukkan mutanen biyu sun soma murmurewa a yanda suke a killace a cikin gidajen su wannan ya sa yanzu haka wadanda suka kamu da cutar ta yan dabbiri a kasashen Afirka kaiwa 16 a cewar kungiyar lafiya ta duniya WHO kana an tabbatar da yawan adadin wadanda suka kamu kimanin 2500 a yayin da 32 suka mutu da cutar a cikin wannan shekarar a gaishe da Bilkisu baban gida da fassarar rahoton Shingan a Yoka barin duniya daga tashar da kuka saba BBC Hausa tasha mai tafiya da zamani idan a radio ne muna tare da ku idan kuma a shafa kansa da zumunta ne za ku same mu a Facebook da Instagram da Twitter da kuma YouTube babban shafa mu na internet bbchausa.com na samun muku da labarai masu ilmantarwa da kuma nishadantarwa ku yi amfani da damar da muke samar muku wajen kallon bidiyo da hotun nan al'amuran yau da kullun BBC Hausa labaran duniya a duk inda kuke shafin namu na bbchausa.com dan karanta labaran da muka wallafa muku akwai shafi na kai tsaye da ke kama ku labaran abubuwan da suke faruwa a Nigeria da ma sauran sassan duniya gabaki daya inda kuma babban labaran muke cewa ta nubiya bukaci kaf ta dauki mataki kan Libya sannan kuma akwai gwamnatin jihar Sokoto ta kafa kwamitin tsayar da abinci mai rahusa 
sannan kuma akwai labarin da ke cewa halin da ake ciki a wuraren da Isra'ila ke kai hare hare a kudancin Lebanon akwai kuma yadda wani matashi ya cinna wa kakar sauta a jihar jigawar Najeriya to karshen shirin kenan gabaki ɗayan shi wanda Umar Musani Abdul Mumin ta shirya lawal nuhu Suleiman ya hada mana sauti suna na Rabi'a ta kafin ka daga nan sashi Hausa na BBC nake cewa mu kwana lafiya